Are we back? Are we back? Seems like it. We're back. Okay. I imagine someone had something to upload. And... Domestic routers being what they are, the system probably just absolutely spammed whatever it was. Time to go for more coffee. Welcome in, Falsa. Um, okay. So that's getting cleared out. Got a generic one here. And we already changed the requests on this, right? Yeah, we did. And that's, like, basically everything, right? It's so simple, it feels like I must be forgetting something. But that really is it. Uh, I do need to, um... Make sure that we leave the right number of bots. Grief. What a bunch of wire spaghetti. Uh, circuit spaghetti. Bank, indeed. Drink some internet in a bucket. Yeah, I, I never actually got disconnected. I think it was just someone had to upload something. And... Domestic routers don't know how to split the available bandwidth or something. Okay, so we got exactly 50 Logibots here. Actually, that's going to be like a couple extra. Could, could you stop for a sec? Oh my god. Okay. I want exactly 50 Logibots here. And I think... I think we already cleared everything else out. It's weird how easy this is. Uh, I guess I kind of want to make sure there's room in that as well. Alright, let's drop another Arco link. Oops. In the ship this time. And let's go home. Moon orbit... No, wait. Moon. Moon 1179. Via Foenestra. And we'll be there soon enough. Construction bots? Uh... Okay, go back. Eturian orbit. Switch this off for the moment. Good call, thank you. Alright, we have arrived. And we'll leave behind a few construction bots just in case. Also power? What do you mean power? Why link on orbit instead of the surface? Yeah, uh, those two reasons. Welcome in, Vlad. The infrastructure was already there, and also we have to power the core drills, not to mention all of this stuff, uh, somehow. Alright. That should be way more than we need. Let's head back. Oh. Empty the generic chest. What do you mean? This thing? I'm just not going to worry about that. 
Also, there's a couple of lodgy bots left on the ground for some reason. Okay. Um, how close are we to having this run out of core frags? Very close, as it would turn out. That chest needs the request again, that's true. Uh, I guess we could just land our ship here. Or here. And it shouldn't matter the range of the robot network. Just right click. There we go. ETA is going to be uh, about seven minutes game time to get back. What should we fix in the meantime? Oh, I forgot to check on the Arcostrosity. So we should be down to... There should be like 49 um, Arco Link Collectors. There'll be like maybe a pair of these that are mismatched. Why don't we just launch them and see what happens? Well, when I say launch, I mean get the recipe started, evidently. Maybe I should just bring, like, a few extra space probe rockets to make it easy to make sure we launch all the Arcosphere collectors when this happens. Sixty two per cent. I don't really want to miss this because I want to see where the where the missing one is. Or is it gonna whoa? Is it going to end up being backward from what I'm thinking, where there's going to be one remainder in the end? Nope, there it is. So this one did not have a space probe rocket. And once these launch, we're looking for... Oh, I guess one of these is not going to launch, I think. Unless by complete coincidence, uh, they just happen to line up. Welp. That seems pretty improbable, but there we go. Nicely done. Just a few rocket launches, yeah. So how many Arcos did we end up with from all of this? 44? That's not too bad, considering how many we've already done. So we're still getting enough Arcospheres from one set of 500 launches uh, to link two outposts back to base by Arco link chests. That's better than I expected. That will keep diminishing as we keep picking up more. Gonna need a storage chest. Oh, 
Spot cloud go brr. And I guess it's as safe as ever to start getting rid of the uh, media defense installations as well. We do have a few media point defenses on the ship. Ever since that time, we lost a few Arcospheres. Hurry up. That's a lot of recharging. Just, just grab the last of these so I can order the rest. Thank you. Nope. Spoke too soon. Which medias hit the Arco chest? Uh, th there's a clip for that. You don't. You don't need to watch it right. Right now. Left side of ship has a little bit of floor left, so it does. All right, uh, and we're want, we're gonna want to go home again via Foenestra. Moon orbit one one eight zero, and destination Foenestra initially. Feels like the bots get lazy at the end. Okay. Launch. Fantastic. What's our ETA? Uh, scrambled, but we are most of the way to halfway back. How's plastic starting to look? Oh. Yep, that'll that'll do. That will that will definitely do. I don't suppose it's too much to ask that we're starting to that we're starting to get saturated on holmium? That's weird. The plate is saturated, but the ingots over here are not. Oh. We literally just caught it happening. We're just about to start accumulating ingots in this chest. Beautiful. Might take a while for this one to get there. Or this one. But the fact that even... Uh, even a couple of those output stations of that backed up is extremely encouraging. To say the least. I keep finding Holmium plate when I come and check on Holmium cable as well. Most hurtful SE moment? That, that, that would probably be it. Look at that! Holmium cable is stopping because the output is full sometimes. That is glorious. Can you check improvement of production with the first Arcosphere chest? Well, uh, what would be a good metric? Consumption of Holmium core frags? Um... Did we really do it only 30 game minutes ago? Maybe? You can, you can see already there's a lot more solid area under the graph there. But it is a little bit misleading because we're able to 
consume a backlog of holmium core fragments here. But it still might be enough to keep everything saturated. That means like an hour ago, yeah. Um, and that said, we still haven't... Uh, th there's still two more outposts for Holmium to update this way. Although those two are smaller. We need faster ships. There's so much to do. Another, I think it's 21 outposts after this one. But that would be if we want to do it even for the ones that are in the system, which uh, I think that would probably be a little bit excessive. It's like, what, a two minute trip to get to Moss Garden or something. Let's see. Actually, I... Calidus Asteroid Belt 2. I just want to look at the ETA here. 25... Oh, it changed it back already. That was fast. This doesn't take off till it's empty, right? Yeah. I think... Wait, what? It waits till there's no methane ice in the robot network. Oh, this is a blue chest. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Uh, let me just switch this to... Moss Garden. Moss Garden Orbit is only 85 seconds away at full speed. And Granus is not much further. Um, so a significant chunk of the time that it takes to get here is literally just like the 30 seconds or something that it takes to accelerate to max speed. So I think it might be fine to use spaceships in system, especially because most of these are really, really small outposts. Maybe for the huge uh, barrel planet next door, we could still use an Arco link. I don't think we need it, though. I say check how the UPS does with a few ships versus no ships, yeah. Well, I mean, as we... As we keep swapping out ships for Arco links at the ones that are higher priority, uh, we will be seeing the UPS go back up. I'm not sure exactly how much. But I want to say we could get back into the 40s or even like 45. There's also going to be no time spent loading the ship or anything. I want to see 50. We all want a lot of things. Alright, let's see exactly how long this takes. 1 minute 33 seconds at max speed to get back to Hagen. But in reality it takes... Eh, what, 10 seconds in game to hit full speed? That's not as much as I thought. Uh, and these little-ish ships are bringing 22,000 core fragments back home. So let's round this up to like two minutes. Uh, two minutes to get back. Maybe a little bit more for loading and unloading, etc. Let, let's round it all the way up to two and a half minutes for a round trip. Um, 22,000 approximately. Uh, 120... 150 seconds? 
is 146.67 core frags per second. Uh, yeah, I think it's okay to keep using spaceships. Uh, in system. Five minutes for a round trip. Yeah. But you don't really have to think of it like a round trip. If you control how many ships are on the way to that outpost at a given time. The ships that are not in motion don't cost as much UPS, I don't think. But I don't know that it's that much better. It'll, honestly, it'll depend on just how abundant the Arcospheres are. 43, 44? Wait, what? 42 seconds till we're back at Hagen. Fantastic. Oh, and we want to delete these storage chests next time we go back to Hagen orbit. Big rock. God, vanilla's gonna seem so easy after all of this. Uh, the in-game seconds are killing me. So plastic should be totally saturated. Yeah, it is. Uh, Holman, 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 Holmium is steadily accumulating, I think. More to the point, if Holmium cable is actually saturated. Okay, it looks like we took two train loads at a time here, but... The fact that it's all the way down here in the container and not less than one train load is extremely encouraging. Alright, we have arrived. Time to refactor coal. And we just merged that robot. No, stop, 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 stop. Please do not send all of this back to the mall right now. All right. Uh, why don't? No, 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 no. There's so many trains. I can't tell which ones are trying to come here right now. Not that one. Uh, you just finished. You're going back as well. You're picking up space elevator cables. This one is coming here. Whatever, we'll just let that happen. Uh, antimatter is not going anywhere. I can't just pump it to a next door neighbor. So I think we will... How much is here, even? 453,000. Is seven and a half train loads. Okay. Let's borrow a fluid wagon. If I can find one. Here we go. Just going to get rid of the LTN schedule. It's very easy to put back. Uh, why don't we rename this station? That'll make it a bit easier. E older anti matter. Okay. So your job is pick up at 
e alde antimatter. And then drop off at one of the stations that has this name. Wait till empty. Inactivity with fluid count greater than zero. Would also be valid. And it's probably going to end up... Is this still a manual? It is. Uh, it might end up being unable to empty itself at whatever is physically closest for a station with that name. Um, but we'll just check on it once this is empty. Just delete it? Half a, th half a million antimatter? I'd rather not. I would prefer not to. No more wiring for you. Um, all of this is basically empty. Oop. Careful. is actually much easier with the construction ship in range. Kind of makes the construction train look like a little baby. Oh, that's already empty. Wasn't expecting that. Nice suit. Uh, I guess all of that black reinforced plate that I'm carrying is about to come in handy. Nice. Can we? Yeah, we can. That's going to be super fast. More than 10,000 fluid per second being pushed through. How much is left? 273. Okay, let's get to... I should be more careful because I saw a train rush through there earlier. Let's get our Arcosphere... Arcolink storage in place. And, whoop, careful. Roo, roo, roo. Solovix, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Whoops. Wait, what? Oh, cannot reach. Alright, so that should be one, two, three tiles to the north of that spot. And if we grab our blueprint, uh, yep, buddy, that lines up perfectly. Fantastic. Not gonna need whatever this old thing is. Not gonna need this. Definitely don't need that. Temp stop that I forgot about. Uh, wait, we do need this for the moment, while the train is still getting rid of this stuff. How much is left? Less than 200k. One and a half uh, train loads remain. Fantastic. Without the ships, we don't need as much anyway. Yeah, this is true. Turn 
Don't need these signals. What's with this extra wiring? And where's our train? Uh, wait, what? Oh no, that's the pickup. I thought it was dropping it off over here. Where are you going? Up here. How full is this? Not very full. As it turns out. Cool, so we'll definitely be able to get rid of everything. Was it heading over this way before, or is it like going back and forth between two stations? In any case, one and a half train loads left. Oh yeah, the Arcos... the Arcospheres have returned. Fantastic. And we've... I was going to say we've already got 500 of these ready to go. That's not true. That is... false. Wicked, tricksy, and false. Uh, where are the Arcos? Where, where are the Arcos? Dude, where's my Arcos? Did they already get brought over here somehow? Production... Arco... All time, Arcosphere, consumption. Definitely not. Where the heck did they go? Um. Arcosphere. Storage. Why is there a requester for regular Arcospheres here? What? Oh, I remember. That actually makes complete sense. It's because this is what I was doing. To get them where they need to go. So we don't fully automate it. Because we don't get that many Arco spheres. I guess if I used a green chest, I would have known immediately that we had 44 here. Except this is a green chest, so that wouldn't make sense. Okay. Please go here, wait till empty, and then come back to the mall. With your 44 Arcospheres, which happens to be exactly 11 recipes, but this remainder will still be left over. Alright. That's the end. Wait, what? Are you completely empty? Wait. Oh. Wait, what? Oh no, that does make sense. Yeah, because I would have gone and dropped it off and then come back in. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, back to LTN for you. And we don't actually have to clear the rest of the re uh, schedule. LTN would do it for us. But we can, if we so desire. Right, clear this crap. And we should now be able to place our blueprint for a drop-off. 
We're not going to need uh, pipes. Or pumps. Or storage tanks. We already added this to the blueprint. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, so this needs to say core fragment coal. And that already says core fragment coal. Fantastic. These also need to say core fragment coal. I don't think I've got this much purple belt on my person. Evidently, I do. Though... We're filling this up with tier 9s. I don't think coal is where we want to put our precious tier 9s. Can we perhaps... Swap those out. Plus 460, 160, minus 80. And these are all sixes, right? Seems that way. All right. So now we just set this to Core Fragment Coal. Set this to Coal itself. And since it's Coal, we don't have some super specific processor for it that we're going to direct belt into. Uh, one last step, of course. We need to change all of these to process core frag coal. And that's it. Uh, come to think of it, I think we may have overwritten the station names at the last one. At the northern tip of the block. Yes. So this should set... Probably don't want to change the name while the trains are doing this right now. Let's switch off the combis. And as soon as we're sure we don't have trains coming to these two stops. Oh wow, we're actually deleting Holmium for matter again. That's an excellent sign. That's fantastic. Uh, but yeah, I think there's no trains coming for these two specific stations again. Uh, I guess I could just copy paste from here, right? That way we don't have to fiddle around. Cool. Oh. Uh, and this already says coal. And there's already a train load of coal. And it looks like we already took a train load of coal from here. Fantastic. Uh, did we switch this on yet? We did not. And... Is there anywhere else I need to change a filter? Or something? I don't think so. Nope, I'm pretty sure that's it. Very good. I wonder if you could move teleporters and keep them on the same channel the same way we're moving Arcolink storages. I doubt it. Are you even allowed to build those, uh, build those on spaceship floor? Is it going to let us place a teleporter on this surface in the first place? Planetary teleporter it is. 
And we can. Interesting. Well, now I'm curious. I'd be very surprised, actually, if moving a planetary teleporter to another surface with a ship would allow us to port to another surface, because the UI here uses the same uh, the same kind of layout, the same kind of deal as the trains. Uh, and the trains, can, the train system can only look on the same surface. So, I would guess that it's not possible to do it that way. What does the teleporter do? It teleports. Uh, it's just for the player. There's no logistic, uh, there's no automated logistic value to it. Just uh, spends a lot of energy to instantly transport you to another spot on the same surface. Does it come with a fancy animation? Not really, no. You can see it charging up, but it's not that big of a deal. Alright, there's our stuff delivered as well. Fantastic. Oh. And I need to leave 50 Logibots. Oh my god. You're going to make this difficult, aren't you? R2... RKR? Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, that's probably fine. Leave a couple of... Con nah, there's no reason to leave construction bots here. Also, I forgot to fix the... Uh... The rail signals here. Interesting to realize that this rail signal here is not actually necessary. It looks like. Because this train is still doing its thing. And it can path to here as well. So just having that one... Well, I mean, this would allow the train, theoretically, to leave in this direction. But they don't like to cross, uh, to cross train stops unless there's absolutely no choice. How do I make my friends play Factorio with me? I have withdrawal. Uh, honestly, I don't know. It, for any game, trying to get a reliable... A reliable group to play with is pretty difficult. Especially a friend group. It, it, it tends to be people you meet through the game itself. Anima, welcome in. Thank you for the follow. Hope you're doing well. Alright, let's go... Do I want to ride the ship right now? Yeah, sure. Uh, let's go back to Hagen Orbit. And King Puller, thank you for the follow. Welcome in, welcome in. Dunk them over their head and tell them play. Game will do the rest. I don't think that is how it works. Oh yeah, we wanted to get rid of these uh, storage chests. Although I think I just brought a bunch of downstairs stuff upstairs. I'm sure we'll survive. Okay. Coal is still... Wait, what's going on here? Regular coal... Uh-oh. Uh... Oh, I see the problem. I've got to change the... limiters here. And the provide stack threshold is set to more than 100. Yeah, for a second there I thought we weren't processing regular core frags fast enough. Okay. The 
coal doth floweth once more. And a lot faster than it used to, no doubt. Even with that mistake, um, I'm sure we're going to find that consumption of coal fragments after we uh, after we made the new build compared to before. Yep, it's like double. Probably going to be a lot more than double with the dips. And between that and getting more matter, because we're just bringing more stuff home, and matter can get turned into coal as well. Although we don't want to... We do pick it up as a last resort, the stuff that's made from matter. Uh, but yeah, that's definitely looking a lot better. So what should uh, what should be our next target, I wonder? Let's go make a couple more Archer Link chests while we figure that out. Also, where's our train? Conveniently, it's coming back right now. Why do you have a random 10 speed 9s? What? Who? How? Oh, oh, it's this train stop. Yeah, no, that's supposed to happen. I completely forgot the vanilla schedule is picking those up. So we have 31 speed 9s, 21 prod 9s, and more than two stacks of... More than three stacks of efficiency nines. Um, I might just pause production of efficiency, of high tier efficiency modules. Because it seems like we're really not struggling with those. We'll still bring the resources so that we can make them later. Okay, uh, so we want to go get some more, more lambdas. Have a global counter for module production and allow production only when they're balanced in a certain ratio. Uh, it's hard to automate predicting exactly how many we need. I, I could definitely limit it. I mean, we already did limit it based on storage. It's just the targets are a bit ambitious. Um, Alright. Let's go... Lambda... 20. Oh, wait. Didn't I make four of these earlier? Where the heck did... They're, they're back here. Okay. It's fine. We'll bring 20 here while we're at it. Zethros, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. So they continued to do repeat deliveries of their last quest. I finally figured out why my LTN network uh, was doing lots of wrong deliveries till the destination chests spilled over. When I extended the depot, I didn't wire the combinator correctly. Lots of trains didn't get reset. When they turned in. Oh no. That's a new one on me. You need 13 to 7 speed to efficiency. Not always. Uh, sometimes you have like more or less productivity modules. Or sometimes you can only put two speed modules in a bunch of machines. Uh, 
Okay. Next time we'll actually remember that we do have a couple more Arco Link chests waiting. Where's the last one? Here it comes. Yoink! And back to the mall. I think Vidamalan should be our next target. Bombato, as I recall, is our biggest Vidamalan planet. Dr. Mega Man PhD, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, Raiders. How is your stream? Alright, Arco's go in here. Arco link chests. Uh, you, you, there we go. The real stupid thing was there... There even was a wire just wrongly connected to the stations instead of the lamps. Yeah, there's three different entities. You gotta watch out for that. Uh, so yeah, Holmium for the moment seems super fast relative to our needs. Uh, I could be wrong. I'm wrong. But still, for the moment, I'm satisfied with that. Uh, I think our, our next biggest... By far our next biggest nasty throughput demand, if not the biggest one, is uh, Vidamalange. Uh, I'm pretty sure Bombato has by far the biggest radius? 8.8k? It might actually be Picard. 7.7, uh, 7. no, it's, it's, it's Bombato. And Bombatu is four Nestra distance away, so yeah. Uh, there's no ships coming to pick up core frags right now, even though we've got two hundred thousand waiting for pickup. Bruh. So you're next. Prepare yourself. Let's get in. The construction ship. Uh, what's Bombato's address? Planet Orbit 840. Eight four zero. Oh, Nestra. Launch. And we'll be there in about seven minutes or so. Game time. Uh, meanwhile... Okay, this is already empty, so... Let's make sure it stays that way. We'll start with the... Uh, or one of the builds in the middle. I was going to do the... Third from the left. We can still do that. It's just going to be a bit trickier. Switch this off. Salvage the... Salvage the antimatter over here. Turn off the requests. Send a construction train by. And a decon train is going to just completely clear this block. Except for the stations that are going to stay the same. Oh, 
also we're gonna want to swap out the floor over here. Floor train. If you please. Inactivity and at least 20 seconds. Are there enough spheres available to make one of each resource type have a pair of chests? Definitely. Very definitely. Um... Before we collected Arcospheres today, we calculated that about two-thirds of all the Arcospheres that we've seen so far uh, is what it would take to link every single outpost that we've got with Arcolink chests. And there's still more that we can collect, and we haven't even touched the ones that you can get for free. Okay. We've got a little bit of travel time ahead of us, and I think I'm more than a little bit overdue for a break. Upgrade Damon base to gold. Sac Saxolotl. Hold on. Are you done? Yeah, you're done. Get out of the way. Where is your name? Saxolotl. Or did you request both at once? Can I just update my name this way? Update it? Top right. Not Chun Chun Murray. Saxolotl. Top right. Nani? Is it up here? No. Right above Glacier Wolf. Right above... Oh, right. Glacier Wolf might not be... Is it War Striker? Um, how do I, wait, 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 how do I know, how do I know this is War Striker? <laughs> Can't see my name? Can't see it. Oh, okay. Okay, slow down. Oh my god, they're pouring it. Uh, you guys always do this when I need a break. Name and base, upgrade to gold, evil player. Okay, we'll do that first. Evil player. Uh, how about here? That one's done. Those two are done. Uh, Dexoxo wants a gold. Dexoxo... Becomes gold. Shall I ch Vilma would like a name and base as well. Okay. Straight to gold. Okay. There we go. And Yeah, so Sax so War Striker is Saxel Lotl. Unless Saxolotl is playing a nasty prank on Warstriker. Uh... Was it changed on the Discord? Theoretically, I could see it in the log. I don't, I, I'm just going to take your word for it. 
And if it causes trouble down the line, there will be a wicked vengeance. One L at the end. Okay. They said it's still Striker in Discord. Okay. Total welcome in. <laughs> Sheepishly putting cogs back in the wallet. Uh, alright. So... We're most of the way to Bombato. Uh, I need to... Empty this out. Uh, it's... I forgot to pump... I, I forgot to turn this pump around. That's okay. The decon train should be up here. Fantastic. Uh, it should have room enough to hold on to all of this stuff. And we'll just wait a little bit to do the fluids. Don't need a train to come this way anymore. Apparently we can't store all of that. Oh, it's because it picked up all the cables and stuff. That's going to be a bit of a problem. Don't tell me I... No, I didn't. I didn't pick up the one block where we've still got the vanilla trains picking up four fragments for signs. This is the only uh, resource type where you do need the core fragments directly for something else. Take your break. Alright, um... Can we maybe... We should have a storage chest. There we go. And hopefully an inserter. Really? There is a superior inserter here. We just can't get the bots to pick it up. That's so f aggravating. Uh, I'll swing the construction train by, I guess. Wait. No, that's fine. Okay. And I'm realizing if I didn't want to delete this floor, I actually should have removed some of it. Alright, in any case, I'll give it a save right there. Set up some words on stream. I forgot to prepare this earlier and it reset for some reason. Okay, that loaded quickly. Fantastic. We'll start words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Okay. Make it a start on... Arco linking Bombato. I'll just let the words on stream finish while I make a start on that. And we want to decon this. We done. Fantastic. Fantastic all the way to level 13. Nice. Carl is a name. Soka. Alright, let's pause the words on stream. Uh, let's clear out this little bit of debris under my mouse. And why are our bots hovering? Because we don't have storage chests at the moment without a filter. Okay, be gone, old belts. Uh, be gone, mouth of the koala. Speaking of which, does it look like a sad koala? No. It no longer looks like a sad koala, it just looks like a koala that's got nothing to say right this instant. Okay. Uh, I want to copy this layout. And we don't need no stinking circuitry no more. As, as much as it was fun and challenging to build, and I'm proud of it and everything, it's also oddly therapeutic to get rid of it. Recount the votes? Wait, what do you mean votes? What? What, what are you guys talking about? Uh, let's clear out these Belterinos. I knew that was going to happen. Should have made room. Uh, and we need some requesters to get rid of the temp stuff. Uh, wait, how many Logibots are here right now? 400? Why? How? I don't understand. Okay. How about instead of 400 Logibots, we go with 50? Uh, this thing's not designed to limit Logibots. Wait, yes it is. Okay, cool. They lost and are just mad now? What, the points race? Uh, I think there was a slight change from the blueprint. Yeah, it's the repair packs. That's all it is. And this needs to change to Core Frag Vita. And could you please make some room for things other than Core Frags? And I already dropped this request down a bit. I think that is actually everything. It always surprises me um, that there's so little to do here. I'm used to it being much more complicated. Okay. And that's it. 
Now we head back, right? Right. Oh, did I leave any construction bots here? I did. Far more than enough. Alright, seems good. Now, don't forget to place the other Arco link before we leave. And then head on back to Hagen. Noon 1179. Via Foenestra. Meanwhile, on Hagen. Uh, I may have emptied out more stuff than I meant to there. Oh my god. Oh, I can't... I can't get the timing right to fix it. Uh, more to the point, I want to make sure we've got some construction bots in there, but it doesn't look, at, look like it's going to work out. I should have made this a filter inserter to begin with. About six more stacks. What? What? No. Okay. Um, can we find room for this? What? Where are you going? No. That's the construction train. Okay. Alright, so we finally got bots back in this thing. I give up. I'm just going to take this back to the mall. Uh, and we should remove... Oh, is this already empty? Fantastic. Do that first. No, no, don't. Wait for inactivity, please. Okay. We're going to try to make sure we leave room for the spaceship. Instead of just deleting a bunch of floor. Floor train? How empty is it normally? Somewhat empty. Yeah, you should have room to pick this stuff up. And then it'll actually go back to where it's supposed to. So hopefully there'll be a nice blank spot there by the time our construction ship gets back. Should probably fix the blueprint while we're at it. Uh, that's the wrong block. No, it isn't. There should be signals over here, one here, and I think that's pretty much it. For our template to be correct. Nope, I forgot the... Um, is that everything, though? Let's look at our coal one. Oh, I forgot to request repair packs here. Funnily enough. Why are we not... Why are we not bringing the repair packs? How are there no logi bots here now? What? Really? Okay. To do. Lo no, wait. We can do this remotely. I made a train specifically for this purpose. Just this little guy over here. Um, let's 
let's double check this one. Yeah, so we need the request for repair packs and not much else needs to change. Cool. That should be fine. Now then. Those are both just filter inserters, right? And there should be exactly 50 Logi bots. Fantastic. Why aren't they moving? Oh, you're joking. We're like two tiles off? Bruh. O okay. Take it back. Uh, come over here. I'm realizing not all the bots are going to migrate over to here, and we can't exactly pick a dollies this through here. But it'll be enough to get the job done. Lucky bot, go. Uh, sure. It's fine. Back to the mall with you. You could have just put the rover port on the other side of the train. I suppose so. Um, but yeah, we barely need any bots for this. It's not like they're being used to load or unload the spaceship. It's just for these maintenance items. And coal is super saturated. That's what we like to see. Cool, cool, cool. All right, we are most of the way to Foenestra, so about 45% of the way back home. Our block is good and ready for our spaceship. Should be plenty of room to land there. Actually, not as much as I thought, uh, vertically, but that's okay. Uh, you can go back home for the moment. So we're just going to land the ship, pick a dollies the chest out of the way, send the ship back to orbit, bring the trains to build the rest of this stuff. Also, also, I think... Uh, I'm going to have the default be prod 6 when we build these things. Because the core fragments themselves are way less precious when we bring them in. Uh, and I don't want my bots jumping out with my precious few prod nines spamming this build when it's really not super necessary at first. Also, we'll most definitely end up using fewer machines. When we go to tier 9, we'll tune it down to the throughput that we actually get from each outpost. Why do we have frickin' speed 5s in here? That's so misleading.
That should be it. Uh, we can't exactly select new contents because we've got bulk rail loaders. Arco link inbound. Files, train stop names, snap to 80, oh, 86251, and go. Fantastic. I might just delete that version. It's got the missing uh, signals anyway. ETA back to Hagen is about three minutes. What should we do in the meantime? How's science looking? Not good, apparently. We're still not getting any matter science, too. That's not that surprising because it takes an awful, awful lot to support it. Um. And for the buffers to have completely emptied out, uh, they're going to take a while to fill. That said, we're still not getting enough plastic for these secure canisters. But I'm pretty sure, last I checked, plastic was completely saturated down here. So what's happened? This again. This again. Okay. Okay. Um, how about... How about we forbid... Oh, we're already doing it. Forbid any more trains from delivering to here until we clear this out. And I'm going to have to keep babysitting this. Until... This is empty. I think this is leftover? Yeah, exactly. I forgot to pay attention to this for long enough last time after we fixed it. If it wasn't for the way inserters end up sticking their hands over the tracks holding onto items waiting for the next train, which is invisibly what's happening here. Uh, this wouldn't have been a problem. Also, there is no also. Go upstairs. I don't want a mixed train for the next one. All right. There might be a little bit of plastic. There might be a little bit of cryonite left over. But whatever it is, we're going to take it all. And then there's going to be nothing left here. And then it'll all go back to working the way it's supposed to. Fantastic. All right. Um... That should be it. It's going to be a long road back to sciencing, I think. So this time these guys are... Where are you going? Oh, I see. This time these guys are going to wait until this is empty before they put something new in. We've got, I think, two trains running this schedule. At least. Alright, are we there yet? One minute remains. Fantastic. Fantastic. 
It's going to be wild seeing the difference in Vitamelange throughput. It was literally like 200,000. Like, while it was still connected to the spaceship system, 200,000 Vita core fragments that were not getting utilized. While we have a shortage back at home. We are close. We are very, very close. Some of these I still haven't reduced the request size. To prevent the bots from hovering. Not that there's any strict need to do that. I just prefer it. We have arrived. Time to land on Hagen once more. Uh, and this one is for Bombato. Also, I forgot to name this Miturian. Uh, M I T U R I O N. Yes, M I T U R I O N. Fantastic. And that goes about that. And just for these blocks, I'll remove that wire. Maybe I should remove this wire as well. Just makes it a little harder to see what's going on here. Okay. Uh... Construction mode. The bots are trashing everything in the ship. Oh no. No, 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 no. No, I should have thought of that. All of these bot networks that were supposed to be isolated got connected. It seems like they're still connected? Nope, 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 nope. Oh, that's so much stuff that's going back to the mall that shouldn't. Okay, can we just have you take off? No, wait, I need to get the Arco chest. Bruh. Maybe I should have removed the, uh... The Roboport. How fast is this? Mm, let's just do this quickly. What a mess. I mean, we'll be getting rid of all of this eventually anyway. Or most of it. Still, I don't love that all of those robot networks got messed up. And we've got loads and loads of... Loads and loads of stuff that's getting sent back to the mall as trash. A lot of it is upstairs only stuff. That's a little bit annoying. Anyway, 
Uh, we are going to put rail here. We are going to pick a dollies. Our chest. Three tiles above that. And we're going to grab our blueprint. And place it over the top. The construction mode still connects robo ports. Yeah, apparently. Alright. Let's see what we can do with our own box. We'll get the floor train. We'll... Apparently only need a little bit more from the construction train. Down here, please. The construction mode... Uh, yeah, sorry, I read that. Dub. Alright, so we're going to be changing these to Vitamelange. Uh, we're going to change these filters to Vita. We're going to add some direct belts soon. For now, let's just get all of this set. That should be Corefrag Vita. Uh... We're also going to want a train stop to pick up Vita core frags, even if it's only at one of these outposts. I really wish you could have separate logistical zones in a single network. Yeah. That'd be cool. Null Cascade, welcome in. Alright, is that everything? It looks like it. And there's no floor missing. Fantastic. Uh, so we just need to change this filter. Nice. Uh, and we're going to need 50 Logibots. Not really 50, but... That's the limit to where they won't crash. Far more than we need. Uh, these two stations don't change, except I want to remove the limit on the loader at the back. Don't need a signal there. And I think that's everything. Surprisingly simple on both ends. There's a little circuit, a little bit of circuit shenanigans to keep some slots empty in the chests. Did we leave Logibots here? We did. Uh, so that we can move several different items through. Are you able to get here? Queuing up at the mall. Yep, nope, that seems fine. You'll never realize to change the recipes? Hmm... Hmm. There we go. Beautiful. So how fast is this? Uh, 165.6 per second. We knew that. Uh, and we'll just double check. Yeah, we're now getting, like, ammo and stuff brought through. That's 
good. I don't... Oh, the train hasn't brought the other item types. I was like, why aren't we getting, like, repair packs and cables and things? Because uh, different trains are on the way with that stuff. Uh, it looks like it's all working. I will stay here to make sure. Speaking of which, uh, how's plastic? Looks like it's fine now. Or at least it's it's flowing. It's got some catching up to do. Okay, cool. I wonder how blank cards are doing. Hey, they're saturated. Holy crap. This has two modes. Almost empty and completely saturated. Well, that's good to see. I wonder how long ago... Blank data card production... We're, we're seeing the recycled blank data cards in this wave over here. Uh, it's, it's honestly hard to know where we stopped... I know what we can check. Uh, consumption of polished data cards. Looks like it... Looks like we finished, like, just a couple of minutes ago. But we had, like, ten minutes here where we didn't need to make any. So it's actually been... Pretty much caught up for a little while now, it looks like. Did those loaders have different limits? Did those loaders have different limits? What do you mean? Oh yeah, the uh, bulk rail loaders? Um, the, the one that's at the back wagon. Uh, unless we want to use a splitter here or something, but that just doesn't line up very well. Um, we want to make sure the one at the back is unlimited, and the one at the front stops at 50 stacks. And then we just set the provide stack threshold a little bit higher so that the stuff going through here is irrelevant. On the output of the blank data cards was wondering why your buildings were consuming different amounts of resources. Oh yeah, I remember that. We sort of stopped worrying about that for the moment, didn't we? Yeah, that is super imbalanced. I mean... It doesn't cause it to ever stop, apparently. Was wondering if that was why your buildings were consuming different amounts of resources. Because they had different output limits. Uh, no, the output is, like, goes to both sides. All of these polished direct insert straight to the uh, blank data cards. Uh, the junk all goes to one place. Just like the blanks all go to one place. So when it gets to the point of the outputs for all this block, that does get merged. It's just the consumption from here that theoretically should be balanced, but it's not. Okay. So how are we doing for Core Fragment Vita Consumption? That, wow. Uh, that's a bigger increase than I was viscerally realizing we'd be getting. We've literally doubled it for now. Um, but we're consuming 160 Core Frags per second. 165 from this block. Bombato, our biggest... Uh, Vitamelange Core Fragment Outpost, the one we're connected to, has only eight drills still. 
we can... We've got a lot of room to go ham with this. Uh, but with eight drills, we get... 142. Jeebus. Uh, that's a lot. With only eight drills, we get 142 core frags per second. We could... <laughs> I know we haven't put tier 9 modules in here yet, but we could, like, actually bottleneck this on production, uh, on processing. If we're only going to use one Arku link chest. Uh, I, I mean, we could work it so that we have, like, more belts coming out of this, but I don't want to. That's wild. And it's literally doubled our consumption of core frags. Not doubled how much we're getting out of them just yet, because we don't have the tier 9 modules in this build. But that's going to help so much. Maybe our next target should be Picard. That's also Vitamelange, 7.7k radius. Uh, and Vita is, of course, bottleneck number one for making more prod modules. So we connect uh, this one to Picard. And things are going to get a bit spicy. Get, get it? Sp sp spice. Forget I said anything. Let's pump the... Antimatter... Over this way. Direct belt... Vita to the other blocks. I will do that. But first... Um, that's actually kind of awkward. Trying to pump it in here. Really? No, that's fine. Am I not? There we go. Uh, I hope I've got enough pipe here. We need three undergrounds. No, we need steel plate as well. Okay, fine. Construction train. Dynamo. I guess I could have salvaged these undergrounds over here. That probably would have helped. Uh, we would have still been one short. Or I could just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually could have got that done. Sorry, construction train. You can wait here and be my taxi, though. Did we already set this to disallow ships? We did not. Wait. Yeah, no, I'm in the wrong block. Tap. Uh, we also need to kill this requester. Okay. I think I'll actually just send you back. Because I don't want the construction train getting over full. Picking up all this stuff. Maybe I should just leave the bulk of the cables and stuff here. Uh, that also has some steel pipe. Is this train limit? It is not. 
If anything greater than 50, which it isn't. Okay. Just, just come if there's anything in here, please. There we go. Did he say spicy? Blue lightning, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Oh yeah, we need to name this. Uh, gold text plates on butter. Right about that. And get rid of the vertical wires because it's kind of hard to see. Cliffs on that floor texture is weird. Yeah. Cliffs are weird anyway. They're like command and conquer cliffs. They're not real. Oh, let me rephrase that. They're less real than some other video game cliffs we could name. There's less verisimilitude. Alright, uh, maybe I'll just pick a dollies these out of the way. Where the blueprint's gonna be. And we're probably going to need to land our construction ship here again. Uh, trains are... I was going to say the trains are surprisingly keeping up with this, but... That might be a lie. I think we've probably lined it up so that... Yeah. No? Yeah, it's going to be the same as that other block. Cool, cool, cool. Gonna need a different I filter to though. Off and nuke the entire site from orbit. Shmua? It's the only way to be sure. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Are we still nuking? Of course. Why are we bonking? Green wire not connected. Green wire not connected. To what? What 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 needs a green wire? Hold on. That's a lot of decider combinators. The Vita station? Uh Alright, so that is direct belted to the north and south. Cool. Make sure we unlimit the back. Should be able to force this to evacuate a little bit quicker. It does still have to go through this one piece of pipe. We can fix that. There we go. Thank you. 
Okay. This is nice and empty now. And so is this. It's not going to trigger delivery. Yay. Bo Atto? Wait, what? What is Bo Atto? Um, let me just line up where this is supposed to go. Tables on the left. Ammo. Letter faces? What? Bomb oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Bombato missing two of the... Two of the gold text plates. All right. Uh, are we going to be able to land the construction ship there? If I leave the chests? Yeah, we can. Easy. Cool, cool, cool. That'll make it easier. Um, let me get rid of some of these core frags. And construction ship needs to go to Hagen orbit. Boop. And construction train needs to finish typing out Bombato. Did I name over here? I did not. Do this on the way back, I guess. Since we've already got the southward momentum. Alright, so this one's going to be Picard. And we're going to want to go upstairs and start preparing. Who is stealing our brood? All right. Upstairs we go. What time is it? Yeah, we got time. That's a spaceship. Uh, I actually want to teleport back to the mall first. Too much random crap in my pockets. Whoa, that's a lot of bots. So much random junk. That'll probably do for now. Okay. 
where, where am I? Oh my god, that's... Don't scare me. Up the elevator we go. And I think we've still got two... Uh, link chests ready to go over here. Yep. Should be thinking about getting the Arcosphere Collector ready as well. We still only have 350. Huh. I'm pretty sure 350 Arcosphere Collectors after the 500 when we go on a trip uh, is just like, it is about what we have in reserve from all of the backed up inputs when we're not consuming too much. Don't tell me we actually need another block to make quantum processes. That would be insane. Have we been making them continuously for a time? Mm, somewhat? That's only 10 minutes. I would be not shocked if we still have a Holmium Cable bottleneck, but... But every time I've checked on Holmium Cable today, it's been super saturated. Okay, that's not super saturated. The plate is looking pretty good, though. Holmium cable last hour. Wow. One solid hour of Holmium cable production. Maybe we need more machines now. I just saw about this game. What uh, was this game about? And can you also attack other people? Uh, you can get a multiplayer mode that's competitive. With, with mods, I think, but it, it's kind of weird. It, 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 not the primary focus of this game, to say the least. Did we get the latest nuke? Uh, did, did we? Why is this tab taking forever to close? Uh, Shmua. Sorry, I did forget. So much going on. All right, this nuke is for Shmua. Where should we nuke today? I feel like nuking this one oil pump jack that forced us to twist the rail around it. The goal is to expand the factory. That's kind of simplifying it, but not inaccurate. Okay. Hopefully Shmoa was here to see that still. Um, so we've got our Arco Link storages. We should begin our journey to Picard, wasn't it? Yeah, I wanna go I, I wanna go ham on the uh the Vidamalange. I love that you can use an artillery remote for those weapon delivery cannons. Indeed, indeed. It's not technically using an artillery remote, but yeah. Alright, uh, I know from memory Picard is not that far away. I think it's in... Uh, Asimius, if not Kalmea. Yeah, Asimius. 7.73k radius, uh, and this time we've got 11 drills. Our two biggest uh, Vidimlange planets give us so many core fragments that the ships can't keep up with. 
we should have done this ages ago, but I wanted to, uh... I wanted to hopefully reach the goal without so-called cheating. Because apart from using picker dollies to get the, uh... To get the Arku Link storage chests out of the ship without having to deconstruct the ship around it. Um, there's nothing that you couldn't do with pure SEK uh, space exploration that we're doing with the Arku spheres. I don't know whether it's intended or not. Macau, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Can we reduce the number of ships already? Um, I guess? I I'm not going to bother with that for a little while. We're back up to 36 UPS, at least sometimes. I don't know what our peak has been today before we started uh, doing this, but... But I think it's getting a little bit higher. The average and the dips are getting higher as well, I think. Oh yeah, did we get all the nameplates done? Turian... Bombato. Fantastic. So now the tiny core fragment stack size is completely completely irrelevant. Just does not matter at all. Or at least once we're done putting these in everywhere, that'll be the case. Victoria is also the hundreds of mods that add thousands of hours of complex content. Yeah. Yeah, if if you like, uh, if you're partial to modded gameplay and you enjoy Factorio at all, uh, it is almost bottomless how much you can get out of it. Although, that said, uh, the obscene number of hours I've put into this save might not have happened if I didn't have to keep up the streaming schedule. If I didn't want to make sure you guys get to see the conclusion. Got to pick up no, I definitely sent a train past here to pick up this uh, marked for decon underground belt before, but apparently it didn't happen. Maybe the train was full. Alright, what's our ETA? 2 minutes 37 to Picard. 6.6k hours so far, and still not bored of this game, indeed. D-Hacks, have you had a chance to look at those blueprints? Uh, no, not really. The Arcospheres? I, I haven't wanted to think about the Arcospheres today, to be honest. Today, it's all about getting these uh, Arco Link storages connected, especially for our highest. Oh! Well, look at that! We, we managed to dry up Plato. Uh, there are 46k core frags waiting on Plato, but the trains won't bother to pick them up until there's a whole train load somewhere. Each individual drill is six per second. Yeah, so we went from completely saturated on Plato to actually eating all of it. Holy crap. 
Um, I, I guess since we're spamming modules, it really shouldn't be that surprising. But, uh... The, the good times are going to come to an end for now, pretty soon, with the, uh, with the Holmium spam. We'll just have to connect up the other two outposts and hope that it's enough. The Arco Nightmare? Indeed. Accurate, accurate. Jeez, the Holmium Nightmare. I can't believe, uh... I, I can't believe it took less than one stream to actually run out of Core Fragments on Plato when Plato was completely backed up. Because it's not just that we consumed them all, it's that we consumed all the stuff that we got out of them. That we uh, we didn't end up backing up on consumption of holmium. Jeez. Jeez, and furthermore, Louise. One minute to Picard. So how much? How much have we got on Plato? Uh, 18 drills, so we're getting a little bit deep into diminishing returns. 110 per second. Uh, I remember this. It's more to the point how much further we would have to go for more core seams. Uh, let's see. Orpheus? Hold on, what's the radius of Plato? Uh, 9.26k. It's not going to get much better than that. Orpheus is relatively small at 4k. Uh, we haven't tapped it as much as we could, though. We've only got 15 drills. We can see some low-hanging fruit at a glance here. Uh, and that is 63.6 core frags per second. No doubt most of which we're not taking advantage of. Yeah, there's 143k core francs not being picked up. Jean-Luc Picard, indeed, indeed. So there's definitely room to get uh, quite a bit more out of the outposts we already have. The other thing is, if we're using Arcolink storages... Um, Distance is just not an issue anymore. Boanestra somewhat made distance not an issue. Um, but we were still looking for planets that were close to the interstellar map. Because the interstellar map is 10k distance from Foanestra. At all locations. Um, so, if we have like a... Normally, if we have a big planet relatively deep into the solar system, we're not as interested. Um, Picard? No, don't land on Picard itself. Picard orbit, please. Um, but yeah, if we still need to look for... Holmium outposts? Moons, planets, sort by core frag type, sort by distance first. So distance is completely irrelevant and distance to the sun is irrelevant too. Amadeo, 9.8k radius. Uh, yeah, I think I remember we actually cleared this of biters, even. Uh, this is a perfect example. Look at that. 9,881 9, uh, 9, radius. Uh, the first drill... 
would give us 10.4 core francs per second. But it's deep into the solar system. If the spaceships had to fly here, even if they were going via Foenestra, there's a lot of extra distance to cover. But with the Arku Link chests, it becomes irrelevant. Uh, the only question is... Are we going to get that deep into diminishing returns finding Arco link, uh, Arco spheres that we shouldn't keep using them for Arco link chests? I think the answer is probably going to be no, because the Arco collectors are practically infinite. You know what's the same distance from Foenestra? All the asteroid fields? With collector outposts. But what, what do you mean? But we, we have this thing. 500 launches in one trip. We can never fully automate Arco collectors. Unless we want to keep spamming one surface indefinitely, deeper and deeper and deeper into diminishing returns. Uh, that doesn't sound very poggers. RV Park, welcome in. Isn't it worth maxing Plato core frag drills now that you have the sphere transport in place? Yeah, maybe. It does mean a lot of extra area. Um, it doesn't really cost UPS. Uh, to have a huge area explored, but it does make the save file a lot bigger. Um, it makes it take ages uh, to load and save the game. If you've got a bunch of planets that are just fully explored everywhere, or just a few really big ones, because, of course, you know, Power of Two number of tiles, more or less. Wait, why are we going to Hagen? Because I left this switched on. No, where are we? Uh, we're probably on our way back from Foenestra. Picard orbit. Engage. Less than three minutes. Okay. Mining prod to the rescue? Yeah. Uh, mining prod research does just give you more core fragments. Are you using Linux? No. If so, you can set a save in background feature. That would be amazing. Better to have a small explored zone with few coal miners on very large planets. Yeah, uh, that was more or less what I went for. I say we take off and nuke the entire site from orbit. It's the only way to be sure. Only way to be sure. Like how would like a nuke? Oh yeah, I keep forgetting we haven't been nuking the uh, southwest walls. Let's do that. Starting right about here. I can. This one's for you. Fantastic. I take off and nuke the entire site from orbit. <laughs> Arg. It's the only way to be sure. I Chestum would, would like a nuke. nuke southeast. I thought you said orbit. south west. Uh, I don't know what I said, but it is southwest. Turtle would also like a nuke. Alright. Boop. And one more. 
I say we take off and make, make that the two more. Site for Morbid. It's the only way to be sure. Uh, Zetius, welcome in. Zetius would like a nuke also. Right about here, perhaps. Fantastic. Okay. Away we go. I say we take off and move or the not. entire site from orbit. Shall we nuke the solar Sorry, panels? I say we take off and nuke the entire site from orbit. More than three Sorry. nuke times, Solovix, monster, here we go. And one more. So is this just a nuke hype train, or did people pay attention when they realized there's actual targets left? Or a bit of both, perhaps. Alright, there we go. I think that was everyone, right? A dude did install Linux only for non-blocking save. Indeed. Okay, no, los dos. Just nuke hype train. Wait, I say what? we take off and nuke the All entire right. site from orbit. One more, Dylan. It's the only way to be sure. Get it. Let's go. And boom. Fantastic. Wow, that was most of the southern wall here. It's almost all gone. We have arrived at Picard. Oh, don't tell me. Don't tell me I forgot to... Yeah, I did. I forgot to stop Picard from requesting ships. There's only one on the way here right now, though. Uh, we should be able to actually see it, because it's not going via Foenestra. It's going to be one of these three, most likely. Orpheus. Orpheus. Oswolf. Does that mean it just took off? Verb T. Foenestra. I can't find the ship. Did it just arrive? No. Uh... Don't tell me it hasn't even taken off. From Hagen. Orpheus, Orpheus. Oswolf. Picard. It did. It was still sitting on the ground. Like, we, we literally just caught it. Or rather, just missed stopping it. From getting scheduled to come here. What's the ETA on this thing? Four and a half minutes. I guess we can start sorting this out while there's still a ship on the way. There are steps we can take. Set that to 3,000. Uh, this down to 600. That should be way more than enough. I guess I probably want to leave this stuff intact. Don't really want to tear up the uh, circuitry until the ship leaves. 
We can get rid of these belts already. Although... I wonder if I'm messing anything up disconnecting those wires. We'll figure it out. Replacing all the ships with Argo storage, uh, it depends, but I'm thinking ships will be fine for in-system, because we've either got a very short trip, uh, or not that much demand for copper, for example, relative to these other resources, or the outpost is not that big, so it doesn't produce that many core frags. Uh, while being pretty close at the same time. Um, but honestly, if it's not that hard getting more Arcospheres, like another couple of hundred or so, um, which I think is probably going to be the case, considering we got 44 from the last 500 launches, uh... We might just end up putting the Arcolink chests, like one pair per outpost. They're still like quite expensive. It's not like, it's not like you would ever, I don't know, set up one Arcolink for each core drill or something. But yeah, getting it ac uh, using them to get things across. The interstellar void is OP as. Now, where's that ship? This is probably it. Yep, Picard orbit. ETA, almost three minutes. Oh, I bet these inserters are going crazy because the construction ship is here now that I think about it. Because they're both in the same robot network. Yeah, that's why. Alright, uh, what can we do for a few minutes while we wait for the ship to come? I guess we can check on certain resources. Plastic is doing just fine. Is it doing just fine upstairs, though? Uh, it looks like it is. Plastic. Biggest consumer of it looks to be totally saturated. Except the saturated output here is scrap. Uh, that's a little... Concerning? There's not much storage here. We should probably put a splitter instead. But yeah, there's 1.4 train loads of scrap here. Okay, the scrap's not that fast. And it's not getting taken away. Uh, why not? Because we don't have enough trains moving the scrap. I'm pretty sure we've got enough... Uh-oh. Wow. Uh, okay. Maybe we don't have enough recycling machines. Good grief. Apparently we don't have enough recycling machines to get rid of our scrap. We've got how many speed modules? Only 31. We've got so many efficiencies, but not that many speed modules. I'm tempted to just speed it up. Too much scrap? Yeah, way too much scrap. I wonder where it's coming from right now. Maybe... Well, it can't just be 
because we're playing catch up with the uh the canisters. Every time I check on quantum processes, they are going full tilt. But then I look at the graph and it's a fluke that we keep finding it at that moment. Every time I check on Holmium Cable, it's going full tilt. Hey, and it's looking saturated again. That's a little bit surprising. Um, I guess we're going to be getting Holmium in bursts. Because it comes in train loads on the other end. So until Holmium is saturated everywhere, it's going to be bursty. SE is definitely when you drown in sand slash stone. Then you drown in scrap. Hey, don't forget, uh, don't forget when we came to Hagen, when the place was still relatively new, we struggled like crazy for stone and sand. It was actually, it was actually a problem. We even ended up getting a stone or fragment planet. That's how, that's how much trouble we were having. Keeping up with sand and stone specifically. So basically the new M3 will be awesome. Uh, let me see. Okay. Did the ship come? I don't think so. No, it didn't. It's getting a little bit difficult to think at this hour. All the more reason I'd like to finish up on... Some nice, easy refactoring. Here we go. What? That... There's no way that ship was full. Nope. Uh, it got messed up by the... It even stole some bots as well. It got messed up by the fact that the robo-networks were merged. I don't want to leave it like this. Picard Orbit Go. And I'm going to disable the auto launch. And we'll just wait until it's full. But uh, that said, we're not going to report one more ship on the way back. And we can get rid of this signal. Where, where is... Okay. Picard orbit. I see how it is. Empty the memory cell. That way it won't bounce back and go home. All the memory cell does on this ship, as far as the destination is concerned, is... Decider says if distance signal equals negative one, pass the memory cell information to the console input. And that's how it changes destination. I'm kind of going to miss these uh, ships, although we will still be using them for Naquium. It's surprisingly easy to keep up with the demand for Naquium, despite the stack size of 10. You'd think this would be the prime 
item that we need some Aku Link storages for to get decent throughput. But it gets mined slowly, it gets consumed slowly. So the stack size of 10 isn't as severe as you might imagine. How much is left here? Only 4.5 mil. We might actually have to think about a new Naquium mine someday. This one... 5.4. This one still has 6. And that is not a mine. That is... Oh. Well, that makes me... That makes me nostalgic. We had this uh, one place that we were getting Arcospheres from with a ship that would go back and forth on semi-automatic. But now we've got this big construction ship type thing that uh, unpacks and does everything on the spot and handles all of this stuff itself. How cute, a tiny launcher, right? There's only 12 of these? 10. There's only 10. Alright, looks like our ship is good to go this time. Launch. Back to Hagen. Fantastic. Okay. This time we actually are ready. Can kill all of this. Where's our... What's going on without... Oh. Normal mode. That almost startled me a little bit. Louder than expected. Okay. And this time it's actually nice and empty. Okay, not that empty apparently. Damn it, so close. Less than one of these two by containers. Call Frank Vita. Train has space? That's a good point. And then we don't need the. Then we may not need the. That's it. Yeah, we don't need any of these. Get out of here. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, we don't need that many bots. We don't need these roboports. We already adjusted these requests. Don't need any of this crap. Remove chests from the th third outpost we fixed. The third outpost we fixed. This one? There. Are we happy? And Plato is already done. Which one was number two? It must have been Bombato. Yeah. Did 
There we go. I'm going to see that linked to the end of time, aren't I? And command? No. Okay. Let me muster what remaining mental focus I can. This goes here. And this needs to ch uh, this needs to change to poor Frank Vita. You know what I could have, should have done is copy this from Bombato. And then that wouldn't have overfilled. It's fine. Uh, but yeah, that should be that. And am I forgetting anything? Sneaky. I don't think so, though. Oh, the bots can't fit in the storage chest over it. That, that's a lot of ammo. Um, we don't necessarily need that much over here. Especially since we're just linked back to base. Check robot count, indeed. That'll do. And now we head back. Don't forget to place the Arco link first. And onward, back to Hagen, not Hagen Orbit. I thought we left a piece of floor or something here for a second. Oh, so this one was going to be Picard, right? Yeah, so we're going to land there. Do our thing all over again. Pretty straightforward. We've done it a few times now. Oops. But maybe I should... That's a lot of bots. Um... Have, have some bots. Maybe I should just, like, deconstruct this temporarily. I'll just toss a copy of it over here so I don't have to remember the settings. And that way when we land, we won't have bots flying left and right all over the place, messing everything up. I don't get why you can't just use manual mode to set Arco Link chest numbers. I don't either. Maybe they... I was going to say maybe they didn't intend for Arco Link storages to be used to send things across surfaces, but like... If you're not going to do that with them, I can't imagine it being worth the trouble of making them. They're way too precious, Argospheres. Just to transport something across the same surface. They said it's intended at some point. Hmm. So I suppose maybe it wasn't in the bug turned feature, like bunny hopping. Maybe. Oh, 
What's our eta? Too long. Uh, we'll have a few minutes. What should we do in the meantime? I'm sort of weirdly relieved to see Holmanite core fragments being processed at this block again, even knowing it's fleeting. It's not as if I didn't have faith that this was still working, but I don't know. It's kind of a visceral thing. Uh, looks like we're struggling to keep up with Holmium Cable again. Yeah. It doesn't look like we'd benefit from more machines to make the cable. Not that I expected to. Have you tried checking the boxes on the editor mode to see if the number would change? Yeah, uh, I have actually. It, it keeps changing back. Like, I was trying to figure out what the heck is going on with this. We'd like change the checkboxes on these, which were which I thought were like binary, so that you could have a huge number of different channels. But no, it just keeps changing back to Yep, there it goes. It just picks a channel based on the surface that it starts on. Um I can't even prove that those checkboxes have anything to do with anything. So, I don't know. That's a big one. What's with the red text? Not enough space. Uh, I think it was just crafting combinator stuff. Seems like editor mode interface conflict or something, because I don't have this interface on my version. In the editor? Yeah, you don't have the uh, interface like outside of the editor at all. You have to have admin or something. What was I gonna do? There was some small task hanging by a thread in my short-term memory. And then it lost its grip and fell to its doom. Seems like editor mode in a... F uh, oh, yes, sorry. Oh yeah, I wanted to see how um, Prod 9s were doing lately. Because I would imagine... Oh. I would imagine we'd see a bit of a spike in Prod9 production since we allowed the since we made the Vitamal launch so much faster, but um, apparently not. Not for two and a half hours have we made any Prod9s. Why not? Why not? It's prod sevens that we're bottlenecked on. It's downstairs. Prod seven. Oh, okay. The the epoxy and reagent is actually saturated. It goes all the way back to what? Electronic components. Oh my god. Wait, what? This is electronic components. What do you mean? What? What? No, that's green circuits. Is it because this inserter was trying to put it... You've got to be kidding. You have got to be... Kidding. Bruh. So when, when, when we set it up so that it would direct belt in with loaders, 
the green circuits. This one inserter happened to be trying to insert green circuits. And then this got saturated. And this is the only source, uh, source of electronic components for this build. And it just never put them in again. Bruh. Electronic squirrel components? Welcome in, Captain Tree. Well, I guess we're going to get a burst of Prod 9s soon. Um, it's kind of wild that Vita was completely saturated. Wow. Yeah, it's not even at that one build. It's everywhere. Vitalic Reagent and Epoxy. Totally saturated. I doubt if we had enough time to end up with extract everywhere. Looks like we pretty much did, though. I mean, I haven't checked how full these containers are. Pretty full by the look of it. Okay. Uh, I think we're going to have... I, I think we're going to have a bit of a b burst of making prod modules now. I think that's what's going to happen. Well, that'll be nice. Two minutes still till we get back to Hagen. Uh, we're going to be in the middle of trying to patch in the new... Arco link storage when it's time to finish up today. We'll, we'll get it done before we finish the stream. It won't take long. I wouldn't exactly like to have to come back to it being half done either. I might spend some time before streaming Factorio next week. Uh, patching a few more of these across. Since... We obviously kind of get the idea, and it's a little bit repetitive. On the other hand, as soon as we reach a critical mass of patching these over, that might be it. Basically, GG. It's become about prod 9 per minute, not science per minute, indeed. I mean, think about the... We're not going to need as many machines as this, um, but, like, think about if all 110 core frags per second coming from Plato were 80% productivity bonus instead of 56. Going to make it a little bit easier to keep up with those... Uh, Holmium cables. Why is Plato empty? Because this block uh, at the moment is capable of 165 per second and Plato supplies 110. Uh, and we did have like 200,000 core frags sitting on the planet waiting to be consumed, but we went through those surprisingly quickly. Now, some amount of these effectively don't exist for a while because we need a train load before we bother to bring them upstairs. But, yeah, uh, we, we, we basically emptied out Plato much faster than expected. And the appetite for Holmium is just insane. Uh, it's right up there, if not surpasses Vitamelange. Are the trains fast enough? Yeah, the trains are way more than fast enough. Uh, it's a hybrid direct belt and trains here anyway. So... So we're not going to have trouble um, moving the Holmanite. I mean, on Plato. Yeah, no, on Plato they are chillin'. Uh, so every additional drill makes all the drills on the planet uh, slower. 
So you're going to see most of the time... We've, we've actually got like three trains on almost all of these outposts, even if they're not needed. Um, 400 stacks of core frags are what get carried up by the trains. And this one's probably going to be... Nope. I think we're getting... I think we're getting these in bursts, because I think the entire planet was saturated. And then we started consuming, so... The trains would go and... Empty all of these out at basically the same time. And then they're all reaching their threshold at about the same time. But each individual drill uh, is only 6.13 per second. Um, we're looking at... A thousand, four thousand... Per minute, per hour. Yeah, it's like a little bit more than four trainloads per hour. Um, for each core mining drill. And we've got 18 of them. So what, 18 times 4, about 72 trips per hour, a little bit more than one per minute. That's actually faster than I thought. That's actually significantly faster than I imagined. It keeps sounding like you're saying... Plato? When I say Plato? Scale the summit, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. You making fun of me Uzi accent? Or is it just that I'm getting tired and not pronouncing words properly? Alright, let's anchor to Hagen. Right about here. And we're still going to have bots jump out. I guess they're my personal bots. And then immediately... Oops, don't stand too close. Immediately send this one back to Hagen Orbit. And decon these. No, not like that. Uh, that's fine, I guess. Let's just double check real quickly on the construct on the construction ship. Okay, cool. Goodbye, bots. I mean, they got kidnapped by the construction ship. They'll be part of this robo network. It's fine. I think. Pro probably. We'll see. All right, so chest goes way down here. One, two, three. And we should be able to just place our blueprint on top of all this. How are you uh, intending to move the Arco links to a permanent spot? Without Piccadillies, deconstruct the ship around it. That's exactly it, yes. Okay, so this needs to be, um... Vita Core Franks. Oh, I see, this is Set Filter's blacklist. I was wondering why that was already Vita. And this one is not. Uh, let's get the... Construction train in range. I think it's going to take multiple trips to bring the pulverizers, though. That way, outside, at the Arco link becomes outside. You can just put the outside wall around the Arco link. Uh, true. That's one way to do it. Alright, we're not going to need uh, pipes for this one. Make 
sure that floor stays there. And yeah, it's definitely going to take... Probably two more trips. How many of these are we carrying? Ten. Okay, cool. One more trip. Uh, before I forget... Well, I'm not going to forget, but... Let's get the floor train over here. Why are we bonking? Uh, we want the nameplate as well. Pick card. Add the RoboPort to the construction ship. Thank you. I will do exactly that. Beep. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Right about here. Where's our train? Slacking. There we go. And we just need to change this to... Corfrag Vita. Whoa. Surprise attack. Uh, we, we're gonna need... 50 Logibots in here. Well, probably not that many. And we're gonna want Four Fragment Vita to be the recipe. Or rather, what we're consuming. Cool. And then... And then... That should be it. Nice. So, how much are we getting from Picard? Uh, continuously, with only 11 drills, we can expect 154 per second. Forgetting how fast the Vita planets actually are. So yeah, I'm going to say Holmium is going to be the resource that's difficult to keep up with uh, when we're able to just teleport core franks back home like this. Bruh, it's, it's almost... the 11 drills, 11 on Picard, are almost able to keep up with this. We're only on tier 6 modules, but still, that's bonkers. I don't think we're going to have trouble with, uh, with Vinamelange from this point. Okay, that, that's a T-Tours right there. That's where I want to save to have the little screenshot. Who are we going to raid today? Anyone doing the old SE and or K2? More Factorio tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow's Monday, isn't it? Yeah, no. I don't want to burn out on Factorio. I have done it before. Also, there's only so much my throat can literally take. It can be Sunday if you believe hard enough. Oh no. Uh, is bot dead? Maybe. I probably have to just press the stupid button on it again. Not sure why it periodically switches itself off. Yep, Cloudbot is off. 
for some reason. Okay. Uh, who... Who are we going to raid? Space Exploration Day 19... Oh, it's... That, that's not a language I can even recognize. Okay. Space Exploration 2... That's Deutsch. Deutsch. Apparently it's Deutsch o'clock. Uh, I don't think we're going to find a perfect fit today. Modded Factorio Crestorio 2. How about Mike Hendy, perhaps? It is Sunday in Germany, after all, indeed. Guy out, because... Whoa. They basically freeze up an expansion location. Okay. Because... That's crystal clear. You should raid T-Hax. He plays SEK2. Sounds like a pretty cool guy. Deutsche clock must be nine. Ugh. Time out. Turtle of jackets. Okay. The target has disabled raids. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. How about v vanilla solo run, perhaps? I mean, it looks like they're building big at least. Not that that's the only way to play, but if you're watching my stream right now, that might be more relevant to your interests. Okay. Yo. And it's not clean either. That seems fine. All right. There we go. Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the dis uh, Discord or Blueprints if you're into that. If you have any questions or anything, by all means. And till next time, stay safe. Thanks for the stream. Thanks for hanging out, Total, Beldak, Ian Noah, everyone else, including all you lovely lurkers. See you next time.